Hey guys, it's Chef Jason Morse, your Ace Hardware grilling expert, and fresh off our most recent trip to Weber HQ, while we were there, we did a little covert op, right? We did a little mission to find out how we could cook more on the grill, right? Just above and beyond steaks, we wanted to learn how we cook side dishes as well. So today, we've got a pretty fantastic recipe for you featuring a grilled New York steak and some roasted mushrooms. It is pretty much the most epic thing ever. So today's gear, gadgets, and grills can be found up top on the link. Click down that I. That'll let you into the world of everything today. You'll find out what thermometers we use, what pans we used, and more. So I would say it is time. Let's get cooking. All right, let's do what we always do and talk a little bit about our ingredients, right? We call this our ingredient flyover. So we picked a nice blend of mushrooms today that really represent some bright mushroom flavors, but also give us some depth and earthiness and woodsiness. So we started off with some baby portobellos. We have some domestic button mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, and finally finishing it off with our oyster mushrooms. We're gonna add to that a little bit of crushed garlic, some olive oil, and then some fresh chopped rosemary and thyme. That's gonna round out that mushroom dish. So one of the first things we need to do is really go through and prep these mushrooms. Uh, we're gonna start by just slicing them. Now, I wanna slice them a little bit thicker because I don't want them to, to really melt on the grill. I want them to stay nice and hearty and robust. So we'll get these guys sliced and added in there. Same with our portobellos. And now when it comes to the shiitakes, what we get to do on here is really just hand shred them. So I'll go through and pick these mushrooms apart into nice random pieces and I'm set with the shiitakes. Now on the oyster side, same thing here. We just go through and pick them apart uh, and peel them. I use everything on here, the stem and the actual mushroom itself. We've got all of our prep work done. We chopped the mushrooms. We'll go ahead and add the last little bit of our herbs. And now what we're gonna do is pour on our olive oil and it's time to season this real quick before we add the garlic. So we've got fresh cracked black pepper right there, a little bit of fresh ground salt, and now we'll add our garlic. So now what I'm gonna do is gently mix these up because I don't wanna break these mushrooms, but I also wanna get them seasoned and let them do a little bit of marinade uh, while we get the grill preheated and get our steak cooking. So our steak of choice today is gonna to be that New York strip steak. We went nice and thick because we wanted to control the temperature and we wanted to control the cook. So that is that prime, beautiful steak that's gonna add a lot of flavor to our end product. Now, seasoning. We went with uh, Rub-A-Dub for one of our choices, which is gonna give you that good all around rub. That's available at your local Ace Hardware. If you can't find that, simple but classic salt and pepper does a great job on your steak. Go ahead and get our iGrill 3 all set and ready to go for this cook. So I've gone ahead and turned it on. I'm gonna go ahead and add that meat probe in there. And now I'll set that to the side, let this wait so that we can add the probe to the steak once we get the steak on the grill. All right, we're preheated to 550, which is gonna give us just that beautiful, beautiful sear. So now what I'm gonna do is take that gorgeous steak, I'm gonna lay it on the grill and get that all set. Now, what I will do, because I wanna get some really nice grill marks on there, I'll give it a quick little pat, set that in there, and we'll be ready to go. Now, first thing I'm gonna do before we shut it, I'm gonna load our grill pan which is gonna allow us now to do our entire meal, mushrooms and steaks, on the same grill. Now that we've flipped our steaks, it's time to add our iGrow Pro because we're gonna take temperature tracking to a whole new technologically advanced level. The beauty of the iGrow 3 is now it allows me to track my steaks from the comfort of my couch. So our mushrooms are all marinated and ready to go. And I like to put these on about the last five to 10 minutes of cooking, right? So that, that way the mushrooms are done and we've choreographed a beautiful dinner. So now, look at that, we've got our steak and we've got our side dish all set and ready to go on the same grill. Give these guys a stir and make sure we're getting some beautiful caramelization. Hey, the goal on these mushrooms is to get as much brown, golden brown color we can. That is going to be that umami. All right, we're done. So it is time to pull these steaks and let them rest. But first, let's get those mushrooms off there because that is going to be one of the stars of this show. Look at that. We'll go ahead while this steak rests for the next five to seven minutes, get those mushrooms added on there. But I'll tell you, how is that for an amazing dish that you can do 100% on your Weber grill? The beauty of this three burner Weber Genesis is it really has enough real estate. So now I can cook my entire meal on the grill. Tonight we did steaks and mushrooms, but I could even add baked potatoes, giving me really one grill for one meal. But I'll tell you what, if you think this was fantastic, wait until you see what we did with roasted strawberries and grilled pound cake. And you know, no video would be complete without a little quality control. That 
fantastic. Some fantastic recipes for you from your friends at Ace, the helpful place.